Hello friends, 614 days of war. In southern war zone towards Kharson, the Ukrainians are holding their bridgehead in Krinki. Situation by and large is status quo. But otherwise, almost a full-fledged modern warfare is going on in eastern Kharson, where uses of UAVs, artillery, air power, and of course full soldiers along with electronic warfare are going on. On Zaporizhia front, Russians carried out counter-attacks towards Rabatino, while Ukrainians at Kopani, Novoproko, Pufka, Varbov, no significant changes neither towards Pyati Khatki. In Rimivki direction, by last positional battles continuing, no changes towards Priyotne. Russians carried out counterattack near Staro Mayorsky and No Donetsk, also towards Eurozane, and closer to Ugledar site, no changes reported. In north on Kupian Swato Krimina line, the Russian offensive has slowed down, and so has happened towards its progress to the east of Oskal River. Liman, no changes reported. However, Ukrainians managed to regain some of its lost position in Serebriansky forestry. In east on Marika front, Russian army attacked Novomikhailovka as well as Pobeda. However, no gains. Bakhmut by Laz, no significant changes. On southern flank, Ukrainians managed to advance on the eastern side of railway line in Andrivka direction. Their attempted attacks towards Klesivka did not gain anything. However, here Ukrainians have been regularly targeting Gorlovka, which connects Bakhmut through road and disrupts logistic line for the Russians. In Avdivka towards southern flank, the Russians made some gains towards Stepnoe, otherwise by and large positional battle continues in rest of Avdivka. Ukrainian army again launched almost three dozens of UAVs towards Crimea. Most of them were intercepted and destroyed by the Russian air defense. Towards Krasnodar, they were able to hit oil refinery, no damage in Rostov. On Palestine Israel front, the IDF armors are advancing northwest of Gaza for probably full fledged ground attacks. Towards northeast, Palestinians carried out rocket attacks on IDF on the border of Gaza Strip as well as on Tel Aviv. On Lebanon border, cross-firing oblique shelling is continuing and Gaza itself continues to be under heavy shelling from the IDF. In West Bank, the Israeli security forces are continuing their atrocities against the Palestinians. Palestinian spokesperson Abu Obaida said, we are impatiently waiting for the enemy so that we can introduce our forces. He also slammed Arab countries for inability to send aids to Gaza, let alone intervene militarily on the Palestinian side. Israelis have hit al Qut hospital surroundings, thus almost inundating this particular hospital with the smoke and fire. And as far as they are concerned, they are still preparing for full-fledged invasion on Gaza. Probably they are waiting for more American military equipment as well as military presence in nearby during emergency in case they start losing and war escalates. Finally, you must be knowing but I will repeat, United Nations General Assembly passed a resolution calling for an immediate humanitarian truce between Israel and Hamas. 120 voted in favor of resolution that is for peace, 14 against and 45 abstained including India maintaining so-called neutral position 
but in reality it means let israel continue destroying gaza and its people the finance capital and its owner and its promoters have very strong underhand bonding and they manage their way unless it itself is destroyed thank you